Okay, I'm going to show you a paint can that I have with all my little hobo stuff for a little, little tiny stoves and stuff like that. Um, I'm going to show you the can here. I bought the can brand new. It's the kind that uh, is unused, just a plain paint can thing. And I'll show you what's in it. Okay, there's an extra can. If I need it for something, um, stainless steel measuring cup. I love stainless steel. Nice to have. Okay, there's a lot of stuff in this one. Um, let me show you here. I was experimenting with chicken wire, and uh, if you can see if I go like this, it won't come out. Well, there's a piece of chicken wire in there. See that? Like, holds uh, the little plate thing, chicken wire, and it snaps in. When it goes in, it makes a snapping sound. So that's all stuck together. Chicken wire. You might want to experiment with the ch with chicken wire. It works good. Anyway, this is a soup can, and you can see it's been cut out. Um, I've got different kinds of pellet tins that I use for different things. Like this could be your top heating pad thing. Um, this here, I could fill with alcohol. I could cook it through the holes, or I could just cook it through here with the alcohol swabs. Um, Here's another pellet tin. It's a real deep one. I use it for a stand. For a stand to raise raise it up a little bit of flame. Inside here, I've got a yet even smaller little alcohol cooker thing. And I want to show you my quarter size one. I just want the size of a quarter. Very small. It works for a little while. I have to experiment with it to see how long it'll cook something for. Um, garage sale, stainless steel stuff like this. Little containers, um, whatever they are. Stainless steel. Stainless steel. Here's a metal spoon. I love these little things. For soup or whatever. Here's a piece of steel. I'm going to put up here. Put a piece of steel up here if you want, and and you can put your you can put your cooker like so under here with alcohol and cook it. Um, another thing is I got one of these to take the pan off like that. This little player thing or whatever. Um, one of these, bigger spoon, uh, tea candle holder for like a little tea candle. You could put it in here for a little light. Um, also, I've been experimenting with these hobo stoves with denatured alcohol, but also I wanted to show you, these are some pellets I bought, wood burning pellets. And it's forty dollars a pound, or no, no, it's forty dollars. I mean, it's uh, five dollars for a forty-pound bag. Sorry about that; it would be too expensive. Anyway, forty-pound bag for five bucks. You see them here. I pour a little bit of alcohol on these, and uh, these little wood pellets burn for quite a while. So I'm experimenting with wood pellets for these stoves too, putting them in here stuff like that. Seeing how they cook stuff. So and I get a little bucket here and I just kind of scoop it like that and put about that much or whatever and experiment with cooking. And I've got this 
little egg pan here. You can set it up like that if you want. Or I got a see this can here. I got another hole in it, and you could set it on top like that, and then go like that. Um, you don't have to use this. You could actually use a larger alcohol burner and just put it over like that. Or if you need a base, you could just go like that. You need a base for it. So there's a lot of things you can do. You know, there's a lot of things. Um, this little piece of chicken wire is cool because you can form chicken wire into just about anything you want, you know. Um, if you wanted to, you could even go like this with a little piece of chicken wire and use it as a little, little miniature stove or whatever. There you go. You can melt, you can melt some butter on there or whatever. And then the burner would be right here. So chicken wire. But I like it back in the can. So anyway, just killing some time. If you see anything you like here or anything I can improve on, let me know. Look uh look at this sad egg here. He's sad. He doesn't want to be cooked. See? There we go. And I love eggs, so anyway that's my miniature mess kit I call it this is for little cups of soup and things like that not for any major cooking if I was going to do some major cooking uh, I just put a pan over a big open fire it's that simple so thanks for watching